Hello and welcome. Now, have you got mocks coming up? Well, the chances are, if you're watching this video in December or January, then you probably have, because lots of schools do mocks around this time. If so, keep watching, please. I've got some tips and tricks that might help you. So, what I'd recommend is, you download my PLC, link in the description. You go through it carefully. You pick areas your weakest at, your priorities. You focus on improving those. You haven't got time to go through everything. So you need to prioritize the areas that you need to look at first. It's like triaging the areas. What do I need to look at first? What are my priorities? What don't I understand? And you use knowledge organizers to help you fill the gaps as well. Again, link in the description. Here's the PLC. So what I would do is download it. Now you can do this electronically or you can print it off. So what you need to do is go through that, each section, paper one and paper two, this is everything from the spec. You need to red, amber, green, rate yourself. Red are areas that you don't understand, amber sort of 50-50 and green you understand. So if we're looking at that, what we're saying is, these are your priorities. The red areas are your priorities. They're what you don't understand now, what you need to improve. These are not, the green areas are not your priorities. You do not need to go through them again. Now, half an hour spent doing this could save you hours of looking at stuff that you don't need to look at. So rather than sit down and read through all your notes, you pick out the red areas from your notes that you know you've got some red areas on, for example, Sims here, that's my red area, mobile phones. So I go and research that. I might go to the knowledge organizer. I might go to my own written notes. I might go to my revision guide to find out. What I'm not doing is sitting down and reading through all my notes because I don't need to do that. That's a waste of time. I've got several subjects I need to revise for. It, it isn't worth my time doing that. It's not gonna help me. It's not, it's not smart use of my time. What I'm always saying is to work smarter, not harder. So this is working smart. It's picking out the areas that you don't understand now and focusing on those, okay? Because the green things you already understand, there's absolutely no point in going through them. It's a waste of time. You already understand them. This could be another useful thing for you. A link in the description, again, six pages, A3, if you're gonna print it off. A knowledge organizer is everything from the specification listed, topics one to six, including the software, just an overview of what you need to understand for your exam. So if there's certain things that perhaps you just need to, you just need to um, go over maybe amber areas, perhaps say, say section 1.5, types of peripheral storage, I maybe need to understand Tebby bytes and Gibby bytes again. I can just quickly look at it there, just quickly glance at it there. Okay, five minutes looking over areas I don't understand. This can be used in conjunction with the personal learning checklist to kind of pick out areas that, that you're not really understanding because it's numbered like the PLC, it's numbered topics one to six with a sub numbering 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, etc. Again, link in the description. Now I wish you the best of luck for your mocks. And I want the best for you. It's important to remember though, that it's there to highlight gaps in your knowledge. So yes, you want to do well, but it's also could be just as important to highlight things that you don't understand so that you can spend that time from January to May, really getting to grips with the things that you don't understand. So it's also there to highlight gaps in your knowledge. It's there to give you a taste of what it's going to be like in the real thing and to highlight gaps that you need to improve between now and the summer term. It won't be your final grade. At the time of making this video, December 2020, the latest news is that GCSEs in England are going to take place. So we can probably safely assume that if that's the case, IGCSEs will also take place next summer. Again, things change. Things move very, very quickly. That could possibly change between now and May next year. But at the moment, it's safe to assume that they're probably going to take place. So this is here to help you to get ready for that summer exam. 
Now I wish you the best of luck. Let me know how it goes. Please comment in the description. I really love reading your comments. Please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll say thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.